So up until this week I'd never airbrushed in my life, something I've always fancied having a go at but never got around to trying and now I've got an ankle injury and I'm off work for at least a week I thought I'd have a play. I'd already bought this which was 60 bucks I believe cheap little compressor that runs continually just an on off button on the red button there and a cheap uh, airbrush by no means professional and I'm not expecting professional results I just wanted something to play with the idea literally is I'm going to build a display case in the basement where I've got film props and goes down to the bar and arcade and that I want to con collect different toys from the 80s stuff I had as a kid or didn't have I never had this as a kid but I'd always wanted a Castle Grayskull I'd seen numerous custom airbrush videos on YouTube other people had done and I thought I fancy giving that a go so the Castle Grey score was on 1985 whenever it was 86 I paid 20 bucks for it it didn't have the gun it didn't there's no interior in it I literally want it just for display so I'm not really bothered yes the paintwork isn't a faithful recreation of the cartoon it's just something I saw online something somebody else had done and kind of took inspiration from theirs so with this cheap airbrush I've been able to add some shading some detail you know and all this is really well textured so it's dead easy to airbrush onto you just got to prime it first otherwise the paint doesn't stick very well but yeah I've just blown it over and then this is a 2020 He-Man and Battle Cat um, Battle Cat's $24 $25 in Walmart He-Man's 15 bucks Again, you can't really see it, but He-Man has had some of his muscle tone has had uh, some airbrushing. Battle Cat has had some weathering in, on his armour. The actual cat itself I've sprayed uh, just with a real fine coat of grey in different places just to knock the green down a bit. comes out different on camera, but in real life it's darker than this. I'm going to say the same with the, the head armour. It's all been weathered. Had some texture added. So that is Castle Grayskull. I'm going to call this finished apart from the door was missing when I got this Castle Grayskull so I paid 20 bucks for it. So the door is missing so I'm going to make a door from oak once I'm able to walk. I got some oak. I'm going to make a, like a castle door that is it will look the part. It will be sections glued together, shaped and then stained. So again not a faithful recreation of the cartoon but not really bothered. But if you know what this scene looks like originally it's like mint green we just someone's just thrown black paint over part of it so not everyone's cup of tea i'm sure not the purists definitely but i prefer this like this and so this is going to get displayed in the basement and then i've also got snake mountain so again a 2020 skeletor that's had some work done on it already i've i've weathered his armor a bit and um done some detail on his muscles and then see this is primed so this is how this I started with this one, Snake Mountain. And again, this one isn't complete. There's no bridge, which I'm going to make something to go in the middle, custom. And there's some other bits on the outside that are missing. I should know more, should I, about, about Masters of the Universe. But I know the bridge is missing for definite with the handrail. I have got the microphone, but that doesn't really work. And it's detached, so that's going to come up a little bit and be fixed in place. The snake's there as well, that's going to get airbrushed. Both of these I started with just uh, just acrylic paint. But I am going to airbrush these. I've airbrushed some on this, and I had to buy the gate because the gate was missing. And then the whole snake mountain will get airbrushed. Chances are, in there I'm going to add some purple LEDs just to light this up. Same possibly with the eyes. That those eyes might get green LEDs. I don't know, just for just for effect. But the plan is to display this one on one shelf, this one on another shelf, and then also then carry on collecting. I've got some turtles figures I bought. They're going to get a diorama. Uh, these are the paints I'm using. Just got these off of eBay. I think they were thirty-two dollars for the lot. So that's the only colours I've used just them and you mix them together and from those primary colours I've managed to paint all of this. Now this probably took me six hours because if you know anything about airbrushing it comes on you put it on real fine layers so you start with the lightest colours first, or I have, and then put, start putting darker colours over the top. If you put a dark colour down and want to go lighter it takes a long time a lot of white, you know, lighter paint to go lighter so I put light down first then go darker. Kind of made up as I went along so you just added some shading, some detail, just to try and make this look realistic. 
but see actually in real life this looks a bit darker than what it comes out in camera but I've done nothing to the back the backs are going to stay as they are they're just going to be displayed in a glass cabinet so I'm not really worried about the backs I am missing the cat for Skeletor I'm trying to find one um, and again that will be added at some point in the future I prefer the new figures for display just because they're they've got points of articulation you can twist them so much more and move them so much more than the original same with Battle Cat Battle Cat does have a lot of articulation even his head moves and twists and the jaw opens and shuts which the original didn't do and I say I've done done nothing to under his head I've actually seen the difference in colour between there and there I've not the green down a bit I've done inside his mouth just airbrushed it to a dark spot just to give it some depth so yes Castle Grey Skull. I'm going to call it done apart from the door, and then I say I might add some LED lights just for just for display. And then today, as I'm led up with a busted ankle, I'm going to start on Snake Mountain. <laughs>